just have a lot of uh, early on in the process. Uh, were people married to ideas? Did they fight tooth and nail to hang on to something? Were they really just clinging on to it? Yeah, I mean, you know what? I think it's human instinct. I, like, and I don't know if that's like, I don't know if that's scientific to say, but I think like anything that you come up with from your own brain, especially, yeah, of course. Like, and it, we wouldn't be human if we didn't. Like, it's like, you know, if I do a drawing, well, if somebody says something mean about it, it might make me sad. Like, I'm sensitive, you know what I mean? So I really like, we have a lot of empathy for what it feels like to be in that position. And we try to like, you know, although it's like a, a regular job, we are very like open to the idea that it's a learning process, um, especially because most of our students that come into this sort of experience don't typically have a lot of work experience. This may be their first job. Um, so y yes, we do witness that a lot. I think what ends up happening after you start working and you were working for 10 years in a, an industry where, yeah, you have to keep producing creative ideas, you develop certain things. Like, you know, it's like your skin gets thicker. So when somebody gives you critique, you try to separate yourself from what that is. You're like, okay, you're critiquing this. This is not my heart and soul. You can still put your heart and soul into everything you produce, but you don't have to have that level of like personal attachment. Like be proud of the work. But if somebody has a perspective, it's, it's an opinion, right? It's an opinion that's guided by things that are way beyond your control. And it's not like, Matthew, you're deficient. That's why I'm critiquing this. It's not yeah. that. You have to be able to separate that. You know what I mean? I just that off my shoulder. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, there we go. So, I mean, I think it's something that you learn in time. And, um, but again, like in this environment where eight hours a day, you're just churning out because, you know, in normal jobs, you might be doing some bit of creative ideation, okay, for X amount of time. And then you move on to something else. And so it is strenuous. Like we really understand that. We definitely saw a lot of in a group setting as well, there's group dynamics at play, you know, like, so maybe Matthew, maybe you're the most vocal person in the group and you express all of your ideas. And then Terry's like, okay, you know, he, he comes on board because you use persuasive language to get him on board with his idea. And suddenly he starts believing it's a good idea. And then Spencer's like, okay, he was on the fence. You know, he has a bit of dissenting voice. Um, but then he, he comes on board as well. He's like, no, 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 this is a dope idea. Bring Drake to Toronto. Yeah. 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 Let's give people free tickets. Okay. What's wrong with this idea? You know? Um, and so from that, like that, that strengthens the marriage to the ideas and and then it's you know as sort of like administrators or as bosses or whatever like to go in and battle that it can be challenging you know um and so it's it's about sort of like again asking the questions and doing it in a certain way to kind of like can you like can, can you defend your idea you know what I mean like like if I ask you 20 questions like about the execution and the logistics like how is this going to be executed can you actually get this done in the right timeline? So our job is that because of the experiences that we've had, um, like the work we've done, et cetera, like we know, like I know what it takes to run an event and how much time you need. So the questions that I ask are going to be reflective, like come from that area. And so um, again, every idea you come up with has to withstand like a defense, like you have to be able to like know that it's possible. And our real life experience is sort of the check on all of that, which can be challenging to stomach, right? At times. <laughs> 